name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we heard this morning how important it is to experience the love of God in our lives. For it is only this love that makes our life meaningful. It is only this love that gives purpose for our life. If we want to experience true joy, true peace in our life, which is independent of situations and circumstances, we must experience the love of God. The love of God that has been poured into our hearts. The love of God that is surrounding us. We heard we can experience this love of God only with the help of the Holy Spirit. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we can never comprehend the length, the depth, the height and breadth of this love of God. Therefore, we were spending time praying to the Holy Spirit to help us to experience this love in our life. For it is only when we start experiencing the love of God, we understand the sins that we have committed. Because every sin that we commit is ultimately against the love of God. Sin is not just a crime. It is not just a wrongdoing. Sin is much more serious than that. Sin is serious because we are choosing to go away from this love of God. And that means in order to come to this realization how sinful we are, it's so important that we first experience this love of God. And that's why we began our retreat reflecting, meditating upon the love of God. And then there were the commandments that were dealt with. Commandments that are giving us light upon the sins. Of course we have heard about sin, we know what are the sins. But we cannot come to the realization how sinful we are unless we start experiencing the love of God. It's only when we start experiencing the love of God we understand how much we have offended our God. How much we have gone away from this love of God. And that's why, my dear brothers and sisters, let us come during this Eucharistic celebration and once again let us pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because without the Holy Spirit we cannot experience the love of God. Without the Holy Spirit we cannot know, we cannot understand our own sins that we have committed. Let us all join our hands, close our eyes for a moment and let us pray for the gift of repentance in our lives. Let us pray for the Spirit of God to take charge of our mind to change our dispositions, to change our attitudes. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us to experience the love of God that has been poured into our hearts. With a sincere desire to repent over the sins that we have committed, let us come with a contrite heart and let us together confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
of our heart tears of sorrow that we may lament our sins and merit forgiveness from your mercy through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever 
Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, verses 15 to 17. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The love of the Father is not in those who love the world. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, the pride in riches, comes not from the Father, but from the world. And the world and its desires are passing away. But those who do the will of God live forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shall we all please stand up for our gospel acclamation? Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 7, verses 36 onwards. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, speak. A certain creditor had two debtors, one owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he cancelled the debts for both of them. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he cancelled the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, You have judged rightly. Then turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house, you gave me no water for my feet. But she has bathed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven, loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. But those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, 
Who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, upon this oblation which we offer to your majesty for our sins and grant, we pray, that the sacrifice from which forgiveness springs forth for the human race, may bestow on us the grace of the Holy Spirit to shed tears for our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He is Lord. He Celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our major archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us all pray together in the words our Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Yeah. 
May the reverent reception of your sacrament, O Lord, lead us to wash away the stains of our sins with sighs and tears. In your generosity, grant that the pardon we seek may have its effect on us. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your us. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.